Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with my with another LEGO Avatar review, and this one is on uh, Deterian Thanator versus Ampsuit Quarridge. So on the front of the box here, we which had the LEGO and Avatar logos and that interesting border that we have seen for the whole line, of course, and also a picture of everything in action, and also the two minifigs included, and Age recommendation is 9 and up, set number uh, 75571, has six, 560 pieces. And on the back of the box we always see the different view of the set and also all the features of it and lego.com slash avatar and yeah. But also on one side of which it always shows a few people times three which means the three builds in the set can be shared with three people. And now onto the instruction manuals, we should get not one, but three separate ones, each one with for the three builds in the set, which as shown in the first part, which how you can separate it amongst three people, of course. But on the back of the first one, add for the online survey. Out of all the sets, which I am also reviewing, and how the Nafi, uh, or I mean the Pandora bits of which can all connect together. And then screenshot of the movie from the movie of the Thanatar. And then one of the last steps of it. And then again, a little earlier on, which. And then the second booklet of which, just the two logos, of course, and then completed steps. I think there was another bit of that in this one. Oh yeah, there it is, again from the movie, which this we haven't kind of seen in like older Star Wars sets where they show it screenshots from the movies in the manuals, of course, so interesting to see that again here, but yeah. In this third manual. Add for rebuild world. And then all the pieces that come with the set. And then rebuild the world again. And then the last steps for that. First of all, for the two minifigs that we get here. We which have Carl Miles Cordridge and exclusive version of Natiri, of course. So for Carl Miles Cordridge's his printings, I wish done quite well. Like in quite interesting seeing all kinds of like uh, military armed forces type uh type fair going on for that. Since of course a common thing that Lego hasn't touched that in like ever, but it, quite interesting to see. Well aside from like the uh, army men in the Toy Story line, but at least in a great different range of that, great to see here. Good to see some new directions coming up, but aside from that, all of which looking just about quite close to in the movie of course. There's and the skin tone on that. It's barely much resembling I think, for his arms and face of which so it's still a common issue of that but, but also the face print of which looking just about close to as he oft times is in the movie of course like if you can look closely obviously the big scar mark obviously of course and of course good use of uh, Zane's uh, hair piece from the Lego movie law or the Lego Ninjago movie line of course And then as for the Tiri of which, exclusive variant, but I think the like piece of which, parts of which, I think probably comes in on a couple other variants of which, but the torso print, face printing, all uh, exclusive, but otherwise looks great for that. 
and it went one, oh, and once again, good to see the long arms and long legs uh, returning from the Toy Story 2010 line, of course. And, and she, of course, holding the classic bow and arrow piece. And the hair piece, which is just the same as other uh, Natiri minifigs of this wave, of course. And, of course, same exact tail piece as the other Navi minifigs. So, and aside from that, if I remove the hair piece, then as you can see, the uh, back torso printing on both, both of which great. And as for this minifig lineup here, which quite odd, quite how there's two these two here. Although I think Jake Sully also should have been here since he, which is of course there in this sequence, the final battle in the movie, of course. Although it would have been great for that, so maybe he would have bumped the price up a little bit more, but whatever. First off, for the builds is this one little section of Pandora, of course. And this was kind of a little wider than the uh, one that came with the Banshee's Flight one. But aside from that, at least quite interesting how it is. Like those two long plate pieces. This is but in black. And whereas that this one bit of which, which is intended to clip in to or clip into the bit sides of other Pandora builds that comes with the other sets, which, but this one in red instead of gray. Kind of interesting how that is. Well, would have been all right. I think it's probably to help point it out for that, which I think is kind of good to know if it's like that or what. And also got a little bit of extra space on here, probably to fit put the amp suit on or any of or either one of the other builds in the set and also have a good little bit of extra foliage on there like with a jagged slope as a rock and also plant leaf piece upside down and also above of which do you have those classic lego boulder pieces but in translucent green, which is very cool to see, at least in the course of technic bits in blue, in bright blue, and the lower bits in teal. It was great to see there. So, and of course, these are which nice and colorful to that. And then, as for this lower section, do you get a bunch of those newer leaf pieces in magenta kind of coloring? Very nice. And also, those like recent fine pieces used as wood ridding, of course, and small ugly rock piece there. And also, this one neat piece, which as you can see here, which we commonly used, if, which if you remember from the Angry Birds line, was used as the crown piece of the King Pig, but it's actually reused in Translucent, or I mean, in Glow in the Dark, which I'll show right now. So, so yeah, it's glowing. And of course representing the uh, large glowing jungle that Pandora quite is. And that which does continue with most of the other sets as well, of course. So now, but aside from that, also do have this little plant-like bit with this with the classic leaf piece there. Now onto this other section of which comprised of those newer spikish kind of pieces in dark red. Very nice to see. And also, just like in the last set that I reviewed, the Banshee Flight have those like palm tree pieces also in lavender color which is very nice for that and then this section of which does have that two by four brick but with technic or i mean with plus rod holes in it 
and of course a clip bit for that to attach to other side builds of course and this plant which which does have a couple studs sticking out to obviously obviously stick the thanatar on but yeah but aside from that quite good and fair build for this side build And that's about it with that. And now on to the Thanatar. Which, as you can see, quite interesting build of that. But although almost kind of similar to most uh, brick built creatures that we get in LEGO these days. It's, but of course, like all, like most land creatures of Pandora, has six limbs. Six legs, of course. Let me zoom in. Like for the front part, got the main headpiece, which looking just about like the actual one in the movie, of course. Although maybe it could have had the like bits that or the lip like flaps that fold up, of course. But and also like the banshees and most dinosaurs. There's the jaw bit kind of opens up, or it's like that. And, and also the back fin parts of which all over. And also what some LEGO Star Wars fans of which do think a good use of this piece could be for is for a new version of the uh, Boga from Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, of course. And I quite agree with that. But also, the, on the back part of it, uh, which does have a ball joint kind of attachment bit to it, and also these two, also these little whip-like pieces that have these connecting bits to it, which I'll go over in a minute. And as for the these front limbs of which, where, where it's just on simple mixel ball joints that swivel up and down, of course. And then you're just on swivel joints. Well, for the front four limbs, for that would so be common claw pieces there. And as for the back part, which, which as you see, is kind of similar to that, but it's just on technic bits, of which and have about three points of it and have ratchet joints in them. And also, a slight bit of red kind of bleeding through there, kind of a downer, but same within the front part of which also a bit of yellow bleeding there. there, of course. And for the articulation, you get quite a good amount of articulation in all these limbs, of course. And whereas for the color scheme, oh, whoops, mainly black and dark blue, which, although I do not sure if there was any dark blue on it in the movie, but uh, for anyone watching, please uh, remind me about it in the comments. But as for this back part, which comprised of the elephant trunk piece with another spike on it, of course, and does swivel up and down and side to side. And also like the Banshees and other creatures of this line, of course, have a couple of studs on there, of which to fit your Natiri meaning fig on too. And then have one of these extra antenna bits that's come up. Oh, whoops. Sorry, technical difficulties. Where you can like attach this onto there, and there you go. And you can see, of course, well, right on to it. And that's about it with the Thanator. And now onto the amp suit, 
Mexico, which is a very interesting feel to it. And of course, kind of a bit, almost a little bit different than most uh, mechs we get in LEGO, obviously. And, but also, a little different colors of that, of mostly sand green and dark tan. But let me take out some of the two accessories of that. Like, do you get a what's mainly a little telescope piece and Irakai sword piece from the Lord of the Rings Hobbit lines, which which great to see around here. Although I think it would have been nice if it was a proper uh, sword knife piece, since it's supposed to be a large dagger in the film. And also, this piece or bit, which is comprised of yellow pieces and classic, and also the like odd tooth-like plates on there, probably to make it like a large serrated knife or something. But although I think it would have been better if it were like an actual gun, since they do hold that in the movie, and also with a like chain, gun chain to it. But not sure why, but whatever. And so now for the rest of it. Like for the feet, which comprise of like uh, gold bar pieces, but in sand green, quite nice to see there. And also do have a couple of pivoting kind of joints on there. Well, in a couple different places, but it still stands up well. And then for the legs, do have those like recent large plate-like pieces used from the uh, the Jago Evil lines. From earlier in the year, and also some eats certain plate pieces, and one also that recent plate piece, of course, and back corner, which, which does have a silver uh, venting piece, probably for extra venting in the back part. And then as for this upper area, which there's you know, this is the only bit of the set that gets stickers, of course. Like this Dexel Knight shield, which gets some stickers on it, and this, another one of those pieces that also well does. And also good use of that uh, large slope piece, and also those pieces in sand green, nice to see. And then this side of which, another one of the, another Nexel Knight's shield piece and that as well. And then further up, we would have those little uh, large jagged slopes in dark tan and in the arms of which comprise of usually mixel joint limb pieces is that go on down into the hand bits, which are just comprised of those regular pieces and the what some call a uh, globe like pieces or bonkle baraki eyes. But in dark gray, nice to see there. And what's kind of weird is they don't at all have a thumb bit to them. Because if you know much about the amp suits here, they do have thumbs, which of course makes it easier to grab hold of it, which the clip bit is for. And as for the center cockpit area, although it kind of feels almost like the uh, machine mechs in Hero Factory and Exo Force, but but does comprise the same cockpit piece as Hero Factory does, but just without any printings down below. But you can flip it open, and also to look inside, there's a couple of dials and also a dial-like piece there, and also so this little screen-like piece. That's mostly a sticker, probably re showing the like holographic uh, ammunition system of it, and also a, a sand green vent piece down there. And of course, it's enough space to fit your uh, cordage minifig into, and close this over him, and he fits in quite well. And of course, you can like remove the cockpit piece to it, and representing his last moments of the seat. Of this battle sequence. And 
and for the back side of which is just a pair of the uh, large jagged slope pieces all still in sand green and also one of those like alternate uh, kind of pieces there probably acting as like attachment bits that attach them to the ropes from the drop ships of course and also that odd piece on the butt area quite good and aside from that still solid build for how it is and once again for this Pandora side builder here here I'll zoom out And again, can kind of it have them on the since of course enough studs to have them stand on to of course. But yeah. And also that other side part of which is to fit the underbelly part of the Thanator on. And there, got a good display scene going on. Oh whoops. And also some bits of of this says, oh wait, this that kind of bit fragile. Well, if you're careful enough. And there. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this switch is a quite good solid set for it. Like, you get three good solid builds and two good minifigures, although which we could have gotten a Jake Sully with this since he is around in this scene in the movie, of course. But at least, but as is, still fair enough. Like, although the side build get plenty of good colorful pieces to it, and also the, whereas the amp suit, of which... And also the Thantar, both good parts packs of both dark blue and sand green, of course. And also for the Colonel Quaritch mini thing, quite new good touch of some military esque uh, theming to it. And of course, there's an exclusive variant of the Tiri, which all the Navi mini things across this whole line, all exclusive variants of that. But yeah. And as for the price point, uh, which 560 pieces for $45, uh, quite good. Although I think 40 would have been fair enough, but uh, which 45 kind of steep, but whatever. But I can still kind of forgive the price point. So this which fair enough value as is, but yeah. <coughs> and if you're looking to get this set to for your av Lego avatar display and collection, definitely pick this up. And if you are uh, starting your Lego avatar collection, also def also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.